right, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh, Bahasham, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, salutations to all your brothers doing this work in truth, sincerity, and always in charity. All right, uh, hey, it's the brother, uh, it's the brothers from uh, the Great Millstone Camp, the branch out in Des Moines, Iowa, uh, with another lesson. You know, just meditating. You know, coming upon the Passover and the great miracles that our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach has wrought for us. You know, Yahweh Shem Yahweh has wrought for us. It's been so. You know, and. Uh, just we want to touch on the fact that hey we get put in different predicaments and different um different trials and tribulations in our lives uh just like during the red sea you know but it's all for the glory of yahweh basham yahweh shai and for the uh, uh the edification you know the building up of each and every last one of us all right so we can start off with that with that uh, you know, make sure you speak up so the camera picks you up too chapter 8 and verse 28 and we know that all things work together for good to them that love the Messiah to them who are the call according to his purpose all right so all things work for the good you know no matter what happens we understand hey that's the spirit we were speaking on that earlier uh, everything in our lives uh, you know even before coming into the truth was all leading up to this you know everything everything leads up uh, to this, so whether it be, you know, uh, uh, tragedies, you know, for lack of better words, di different things, it's all for the good. You know, whether it's it's growth spiritually, growth, you know, uh, uh, mentally, so on and so forth. For, uh, and it reminded me of this Philippians, right? This Philippians chapter one. Okay, this is Philippians chapter 1 and verse 12. It says, But I would ye should understand, brethren, that the things which happened unto me have fallen out rather unto the furtherance of the gospel. Okay, so here the apostle is speaking on the different things that happened unto him, right? Uh, resulting within him doing the work, him within this ministry. Right? It says that it happened to him have fallen out rather unto the furtherance of the gospel. It says so that in my bonds in Mashiach are made are manifest in all the palace and in all other places. You know, so because of the things that he suffered, because uh, uh, you know his imprisonment, his arrest, that was made known broad. You know that that was spread abroad. You know, everybody knew about it within that time. It says, and many of the brethren in the Lord, waxing confident by my bonds, are much more bold to speak the word without fear. So because of the things that he suffered and still endured and persevered through and maintained the spirit, hey, that, that charged Jake, man. You know, it gave Jake more more confidence, more motivation to continue to press forward through the things that they're dealing with. And it's beautiful because we understand that absolutely, if you want to look that up, Bach, uh, accomplishing your brethren in the world, you know, because we understand that the different things that we go through, it's not nothing new, man. It's not nothing new. These same things that we're going through, hey, another brother could be going through these things, you know, and another brother is going through these things and they're, they're, they're getting through it, man. Or there's brothers going through shit that's worse, which really, it puts you in a different mindset, right? puts you in a mindset like man look look i'm complaining about this i'm complaining about that but this brother's going through hell and he's still able to press forth and carry on all right exactly having that hope in yahweh shai you know because shay if you look at the life of yahweh shai man <laughs> what we had to go through so he could send his holy spirit from above for us to receive and he had to go through hell man right he, man he was sweating blood you know if you look at the you know, uh, the medical, uh, what is it, the scientist view of, of the crucifixion, you know, we, we I think we uh, we showed it, what, two or three weeks ago on a Spirit Like the Wind, you know, and, and man, that was hell, you know, but we look at that and, and have that hope in us, 
you know what, can I get this real quick and then y'all can get that? It says, uh, John, first John 3 and 3, it says, and every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself even as he is pure. So we have to have that hope in us to keep going, to keep striving, no matter how the situation might uh, might look. Like, for example, we were bringing out that Paul, you know, the, the examples of Paul, what he went through, shipwreck and things like that. Yep. But the brethren used that what? They used that as fuel, as to keep going, to have more hope and our goal in mind, man. You know, because if, if Paul's going through that and he's a man of the Lord, hey, man, I have to go through those things as well. You know, yeah, how was shy? He said, it says, if it's happened to, to me, uh, what is what is it? If it happened to your master, how much more the servant? You know, roughly yeah. paraphrasing that. You yeah. know, so things that, hey, yeah, how was shy? Had that hope of, hey, he's going to receive what the Father has promised them, same as us. You know, we, re, we, we're hoping that we're going to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Yeah, no, that's exactly it. You know, and, and that's the, that was the other thing I wanted to mention is we can read in 2 Corinthians 11 the different things that the apostles suffered. Yeah. You know, he, he talked about shipwrecks, uh, uh, being basically uh, bound. Uh, being bound, man. Jake coming up against them, his own countrymen. He says uh, stonings and deaths oft. Yeah. You know? All those things for sake, uh, uh, for the sake of the ministry. But bro, but when Paul got stoned, bro, right after that, yeah. what happened? He said, uh, Acts he 14 and 21, yeah. he said, through much tribulation, we should enter into the kingdom of heaven. So, bro, he literally just got stoned. He got his ass right back up through the spirit of Yahweh, Shimei, I was shy, and said that. You don't think the brothers that actually, that, that you know what I'm saying, that, uh, that were witness to that or, you know, that heard of that, you don't think that emboldened them in the Lord? You don't think that gave them more hope? You know? Hey, bro, it's shit. Why do y'all buy some y'all shot? God, God. I got the, the, the reset. This is 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 9. Whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the uh, same... Read, read, read one verse up. Peter chapter 5 and verse 8 be sober be vigilant because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour seeking whom he may devour you know and a uh a Yahweh Shai told the apostle he said he said Peter uh Satan had desired you that he may sift you okay and as we always go into man when you go into that word sift one of the definitions says the inward agitation of one's mind to the point to overthrow one's faith. So if we understand that Satan is out on the prowl and he's looking to overthrow our faith by agitating us in our minds, we understand certain things are going to come, man. That's that Sirach too. My son, if thou comest to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure. Right? He that departed from, uh, he that departed from sin maketh himself a prey. So we understand shit's going to happen. But see, that's the thing. In those different situations, right? We call them Red Sea moments, like calling them. Because back during the Exodus, a, a, the brother was speaking about this the other day, right? The Lord, it, it was all of the Lord. The Lord had ordered Moses to go, to tell Pharaoh to let us go. He put the plagues on Egypt. You know, he let uh, Pharaoh let us go. The Lord worked on his mind, right? He let us go. And he commanded us to go a certain way, right? Till we were in front of that Red, that red Sea. You know, so we were in front of that, that body of water. And then he put the spirit on the on Pharaoh and the Egyptians to come persecute us after they had let us go. The Lord did all that, man. You know, and so when it looked like there was no hope, there was no way out, the Lord made that moment. He made all that happen so that it would look that way. And, the, and Jake, you know, the Israelites in that time, they didn't understand. Israel didn't understand what was about to happen. You know, they were all bugged out in their mind. Oh, Moses, you brought us out here to die. We should have did this. There was more graves and blah, blah, blah. You know, because they weren't looking unto the Lord, man. They were already swayed in their mind, perplexed by what was in front of them. And so we have situations in our lives where it looks like there's no hope. It looks like the, the odds are stacked against us. Everything is against us and there's no way out. But see, the Lord will use those moments to work his miracles to show his glory, man. Because within that that same that same uh, account, right? We know the story of, uh, of the Exodus. The, it says the Lord sent that mighty wind, and He opened the, He opened the water, and we were able to cross through on dry land. 
see the Lord had to put us in that position to increase our for, for us to see that and so it's the same thing now so Satan is gonna try and work in our minds right before that miracle is done hey hey there, there ain't no way out of this you're fucked man hey you know <laughs> give up stress out you know bug out you know do this do that and and, and you know it'll make you it, it, it'll make you bug out man in your mind but that's why it says he whose mind is stayed on the Lord shall keep him in perfect peace okay go ahead I read that read that again first Peter 5 and 8 be sober be vigilant because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour yeah and be sober be a be of a sober mind be of a sober mind you know you're thinking clear thoughts thinking upon the scriptures okay go ahead verse 9 whom resist steadfast in the faith knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world right so you resist that you know you combat him with the scriptures and it says that the same things are accomplished in our brethren in the world so we understand that we're not the only ones going through this man you know yeah that self-pity demon bro you know the brother's call too well God no, con, con. And so, you know, there, there's just certain things that we have to endure, brothers. You know, certain certain things and situations, we just got to see it through and continue to trust in the Lord. You know, and, and, and the Lord will, the Lord will see it through. The Lord will see it through, man. Go ahead, up. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 12, and verse 9. And he said, my grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, I will rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Hamashiach may rest upon me. Okay? So what? Here, uh, this is Paul is saying that this is what the Lord told Paul. He said his power uh, uh, is shown in its weakness. You know, so tying into what the brother said, you know, uh, when we feel like there's no way out, you know, when we have no, we feel like there's no power in our hands, uh, no strength, that's when we got to trust in the Lord. Okay, uh, to, uh, for the Lord to be glorified, you know, because ultimately it's all the works of the Lord, you know, so. Yeah, it is Sirach chapter 6 and verse 7. If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first and be not hasty to credit him. You know, and Yahweh Shai, there's an account uh, where Yahweh Shai, uh, he, he said, I call you no, no more servants because servants know not what their master do. You know, but all things that the Father hath commanded me, I have made known unto you. Therefore, I call you my friends. You know, you say brother or friends. It's said friends, right? Yeah, same thing. Friends. God, friends. yeah, well, that, that's what I was gonna say. You know, it's the same it's thing. Brother, but it's friends, yeah. God, friends. I call you friends. Okay. And so, just how you gotta prove a friend? Hey, yeah. How Shai has to prove us? And how how is that being done? Hey, hey, wisdom proves us. You know what I'm saying? It says that a, the trial of a man is within his reasonings. So when we're put in those certain situations based on how we moved, on how we move, that's how we're, we're, we're proved and we're seeing what what uh, uh, what truly is is within you, you know, for, uh, for again, for lack of better words. I mean, that's why that's why it says, it says uh, one's not a Jew uh, outwardly, but inwardly, you know, because you could have the appearance of, of you know, a long beard, some, you know, some, uh, you know, uh, borderline of blue. All right, you can have the fringes and all that, but if your reasoning is not there, yeah, bro, you you don't you don't have the 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 the, the, the hope, right? Because you think you think it's an outward appearance, man, but it's more than that. It, it's the, about the inward man, right? Yahweh yeah, Shai, what what is he doing right now? Yahweh yeah, Shimon Shai is what he's trying us through these trials and tribulations for what? So we can actually be renewed in the inward man, not the outward. It's how we reason. Like I said, she will walk. Uh, she will walk with you in rough ways. I got it right here. Go ahead. That's the spirit. That was the next precept. This is uh, Sirach chapter four, and verse seventeen. All right. It says, "For at the first, she will walk with him by crooked ways, and that she is, is speaking of wisdom." Yep. You know. It says, "And bring fear and dread upon him, and torment him with her discipline." Until she may trust his soul and try him by her laws. That's why it's called the Holy Spirit of discipline, right? Because wisdom, uh, the Holy Spirit, you know, comes from above, like it says in Wisdom of Psalm, the ninth chapter. You know, 
wisdom, uh, what is it? The Holy Spirit and the wisdom can be synonymous, you know, because it allows us to maneuver in this present evil world, man, through the understanding of it. Because a lot of people got the Bible. A lot of people can read the Bible and this and that and the third, but they don't have the Holy Spirit, the, the true wisdom of the scriptures to what? To, to, to use it, man. You know, that's only given from above, man. But that's the only thing. What? It says what? Discipline, right? If you don't have discipline, it's going to flee a malicious soul like it says in Wisdom of Solomon, the first chapter. Right? And that's what the Lord is showing us in these Red Sea moments. Are we going to freak out or are we going to rely on him? Mm -hmm. Right? And then when, when we rely on him, hey, he's going to increase us. Right? That's where the increase, that's where the growth comes. When you endure that trial and tribulation and actually have hope in Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shai, and that's when you, you become a, a better man each and every day, man. Because if you fail, if you fail every day, man, you're not going to go nowhere, man. You're going to stay stagnant and guess what happens to stagnant water? It becomes poison. It becomes infected and diseased. And the Lord said we're supposed to be living waters. Okay? Yep. So back in uh, Sirach 4, I'm going to read that latter part again, verse 17. It says, or I'll read the whole thing. It says, For at first you will walk with him by crooked ways, and shall bring fear and dread upon him, and torment him with her discipline, until she may trust his soul and try him by her laws. So we're put through those things, right? It says, Then... So after you've been tried, she will return the straight way unto him and comfort him and show him her secrets. But if he go wrong, she will forsake him and give him over to his ruin. Mm. You know, so it, it's better. A, a uh, Right. What, what was that? The what was it? Maybe like 20, fuck, 2015, 2017, something like that. You had all those those shirts and them stickers that said, uh keep calm and carry on keep calm and pray on there was a bunch of right, variations right, a lot of, right, right, a lot you of know variations hey well that's it you know in those moments you we gotta keep calm meditate think upon the lord and continue to press forward man you know because <laughs> it, it should if jake would have started bugging out and gone back towards egypt jake would have got killed but well, hey, there was gotta, nothing to go back to exactly <laughs> like what was it like like peter like peter moments right when when he's walking on water he was cool when he was focused on Yahweh Shai, yeah. right? He was cool, but then when he when when uh, when he was focused on the turbulent winds, you know, and things like that, instead of Yahweh Shai, he started to sink, right? But the point was that hey, we're supposed to be focused on Yahweh Shai, and he got it. Hey, he 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 got us a smooth ride, man. Yeah, you, you know. And even if it does seem grievous and not joyous at that time, like it says in Hebrews, hey, Yahweh Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, we can we can do all things. Through Yahweh Shai that strengthened us. He gives us the hope. He gives us the strength and the mind to endure it, man. But without the Lord, we'll be through right now, bro. I don't know where the hell we'll be at without the truth. Yep. We'll be bugged out somewhere in a fucking corner. Hey, you just got to see it through in those moments, man. With those different obstacles, you just you just believe that there's going to be a way. You know, yeah, I, hey, Lord, I can't see it right now, but I, hey, I, know, I know you can do it. I know you can get me out of this in a blink of an eye. So I'm going to just hey, continue to press forward. This is St. Matthew chapter 19 and verse and verse 26, okay? It says, But Yahweh beheld them and said unto them, With men this is impossible, but with the Most High all things are possible. Mm -hmm. You know? And that's the point, that we serve the creator of the heavens, the earth, all things seen, things not seen. Everything that is, that has been, and will be is made by our power. And so, again, it is nothing. It's nothing for the Lord to deliver us out of that. All right? It's possible with him. In those impossible moments, those Red Sea moments, it's still possible because we have the Lord on our side. Hey, before the camera was rolling, we were talking about different uh, predicaments that we were in, man. You know, and, and certain shit that we went through with, you know, with brothers when we were all together. But within every single last one of those moments, we can reflect back and see how the Lord was with us, man. Even though we had to go through some shit and, and suffer certain things, the Lord was always with us, man. And that's that's the promise Yahweh wish I had made. He said, "Lo, I am with you even to the end of the world." Yeah, you know? yeah. Well, shit. That's why this, 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 the scriptures are written, right? Uh, Romans fifteen and four. What is written in four times? Written for uh, our learning. Can can we get that, Bobby Kasha? Okay. Because the, there's a point that in there. Because I was speaking about hope, you know. But all that, all those stuff, to run, uh, all that stuff is what written down for us to look at and reflect, like the brother was speaking about. Each and every one of us can look back and go, "Okay, the Lord, he delivered me here, he delivered yeah. me there, he delivered me there." Shit, 
to Wadi Al by Shimia was shy. And he left us this big record that we have in our hands to read yeah. and to be like, damn. Hey, and, and because of, exactly, because beca because of those things, we can glorify him, man. Yeah. You know, give him praise. Hey, it reminds me also of of the man, right? The the blind man at the gates. Right? When Yahweh Shai walked by and apostles walked by, uh, uh, they, it says that they had seen a man that was blind from birth. Right? And he, what did the apostles ask him? Uh, what the, the disciples at that time, right? They said, who had sinned? This man or his parents that he was born blind. Showing you they had the understanding of reincarnation, right? But he said, hey, it was neither. But the reason he was born blind, the reason he's in that situation is for this very moment so that I can heal him and y'all can see that and God and the Most High can, can be glory, yeah. you know? So the only reason that 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 man was born blind and had to go through the shit he went through in his life was to be healed by the Lord so that the Most High could get the glory. You know, there was no way somebody would have thought, oh, he's going to be okay later on, right. right? He's going to be able to see. He's going to live a good life. You know what I'm saying? But it was possible with the Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. You go ahead. Huh? This is Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning that we patience and comfort of scriptures hmm. might have hope might have hope bro you know so all those things that is written is for us to look at and to reflect back and to meditate and be like well shit if they did it why can i why can i do it am i a son of yahweh shimmy shai i hope to be all right but guess what the elect the elect the hopeful elect they're going to be able to read these scriptures and understand them and actually apply them to their life and within that, that allows them to be prepared and be full armored for the for the for the fight that we have to fight each and every day until up what until Yahweh Shimei uh, Shai until Yahweh sends His only begotten Son, our Lord and Redeemer, to come save us from the four corners of the earth. That's until the battle is that's that's when the battle is going to be done and over with. But until then, hey, we got to be prepared, and how we prepare each other is by the Scriptures. That's how we prepare each other. We we uh, it says what each one teach one. So you got to teach up, you know, through spirit. You got to be taught, you know, build yourself up and teach the next man. Uh, mind if I grab this real quick? Go ahead up. This is uh, Sirach chapter two and verse ten. Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken, mm -hmm. or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? All right, and we. We're able to look at the generations of old and read about them in the scriptures, all right? Our, our, our forefathers, okay, the prophets and the things they went through, okay, and um, you know how they weren't forsaken by the Lord, all right, when they called upon them in their troubles, you know, and that's the same thing, you know, we read those things and we use those as hope and as fuel and as motivation, you know, in our struggles and the things that we go through and the things that the scriptures say we're going to go through, you know. To tie into what the brother was saying, you know, concerning Romans 15 and 4. Psalms, if you want to get that. I don't know how it's worded. I forgot how it's worded. In Psalms 37 and 25, it says, I have been young and now I am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. You know, so, hey, that's, that's, man, bro, having our hope in our Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, we're not going to be forsaken. We're not going to be uh, begging bread. Why? Because it says what that the Lord, the Lord said that He, um, He's going to hold, uphold him that is always desires to uh, to serve Him. Perfect. And as well, it says in Isaiah, right in Isaiah sixty-five, it says, "His servants shall eat, and everybody else will be hungry. His servants shall drink, and everybody else will be thirsty." Okay, the Lord, the Lord said that the you you will have uh, tribulation now, and the and the world will have joy. Right, but when I come, you will have joy, and everybody else is going to mourn, and no, no, no man is going to be able to take that joy away from you. That the Lord said, man, the Lord said He's going to give us that joy, right? We have, and, and, and let me clarify, we have that joy a little bit wide through the Scriptures, through the Holy Spirit that comes for itself, uh, come for us, you know. But ultimately, we're going to have that joy, you know, physically, man. We're not going to, we're going to have a new body, right? We're not going to, uh, our women are going to be pure, right? Everything's going to be. Amazing in the kingdom Right But for now For right now What we got to do is what Trust in the Holy Spirit Right Trust in the in the words of Yahweh Abba Hashem Yahweh Shai Alright No matter what the situation might look like Again Like that Red Sea moments 
All right, I don't know who needs to hear this right now, but whoever's going through whatever the hell, and I can, you know, I could come up with different things in my imagination, but the point is that we have to have our hope in Yahweh Bashimi Awashai, and remember that whatever you're going through, Yahweh Bashimi Awashai has put that in your path for what? So he can be that man that Yahweh Bashimi Awashai needs, you know, uh, and for you to fulfill your measure, man. You know, but it's a lot, but I can't, I can't, uh, where it is, yeah, it's in Maccabees. Man. You know, it's the answer basically to, um, to that, uh, yeah, because it says none, none, none has been, yeah, none, none has been, uh, uh, forsaken the one that trusts in the Lord, you know, roughly paraphrasing, you know. But if Jake can't find it, man, it's all good, man. You know, brothers can, you know, put on the comment board, uh, comment board, Bobby Kasha. You know, this is first Maccabees chapter two, what are you about? Show me first Maccabees chapter two and verse six, Maccabees chapter two and verse six, it's like a 61. Okay. Damn. Damn. Ooh. I'm gonna I'm gonna start up. Dude, damn. This is verse 50. Okay, it says, Now therefore, my sons, be ye zealous for the law, and give your lives for the covenant of your fathers. Call to remembrance, that's how it's word, call to remembrance, right? Call to remembrance what acts our fathers did in their time. So shall you receive great honor in an everlasting name. You know, and what did they do in their time? They stood stiffly for the for Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai and persisted in faith. We can read about it in Hebrews 11, right? I call it the uh, the Hall of Faith. You know, where it's a, it's a, 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 a kind of like this. Where it's a it's a recollection, a, a, re, a recanting, a retelling of the faith our forefathers had, man, and the great glory which they had obtained because of that faith. It says, Was not Abraham found faithful in temptation, and it was imputed unto him for righteousness? Joseph, in the time of his distress, kept the commandment and was made Lord of Egypt. Phineas, our father, and being zealous and fervent, obtained the covenant of an everlasting priesthood. Joshua, for fulfilling the word, was made a great judge in Israel. Caleb, for bearing witness before the congregation, received the heritage of the land. David, for being merciful, possessed the throne of an everlasting kingdom. Elijah, for being zealous and fervent for the laws, was taken up into heaven. Ananiah, Azariah, and Mishael, by believing, were saved out of the flame. Daniel, for his innocency, was delivered from the mouth of lions. Hey, and the reoccurring theme is that they were all in trouble all in predicaments where it seemed like there was no hope and thus consider ye throughout all ages that none that put their trust in him shall be overcome you know there you go there you go man there's another one i was thinking about there's in maccabees but it's all good brother that, that was a good one too you know, that was a good one con yeah so again i'll read it again it says that none that put their trust in him shall be overcome. Yeah, there is, I want to say there is another one. Yeah, but hey, basically that's the answer, man. No, no, there, there, there's absolutely no, hey, our forefathers that trusted in Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shansen, in those situations, they weren't forsaken, man. You know, the Lord always showed up and showed out for them. You know, but the, you got anything else? Uh, no, not hey, you know, so Lord willing, we hope that was edifying, encouraging. We want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Ba'asham Me'awashai Ba'ashem HaKakwadash. The old double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Till the next time, Shalom.